I have hundred lumens. Good. Oh, that's a good job. It was a pound. <laughs> Which is supposed to be good. Yes, it does. Well, it looks yeah. good. It does. Gorgeous. And a new cable nail. Yeah, a new cable. Still breaking. Matthew chapter one, verse eighteen. There's a lovely verse all about the birth of Jesus Christ. About Christmas, Matthew chapter 1 verse 18 says, This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. It's very interesting the way that this is written. Have you noticed that? The way it's written, it doesn't say Jesus was born to Mary and Joseph. It emphasises the way that he was born. Because it was totally miraculous and totally different. See what it says here? This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. It's not, this is, a, this is about Jesus was born, it's about how it actually came about. And it's fantastic to see that. But as we go to Christmas, we're celebrating the birth that's never been done that way before and never will be done afterwards. Yeah. It's completely unique, so we praise the Lord for that. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness. We thank you that you've gathered us here to praise your holy name. We thank you, Lord, that your birth was unique because it had to be unique to save the world from their sins. And so we thank you today that we're focused on that. Yes. This is Jesus, how the birth Jesus, of Jesus Christ came about. Help us to worship you today in spirit and in truth. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Leslie will maybe get one of the children to write Yeah. 
him because he's a rock. And he can, we can be shaken because he's the rock on which we build our lives. Hallelujah.
Lord, it's good to be in this house today, isn't it? It's really good to worship him together as part of his family. Hallelujah. And our first advent calendar, our first advent candle, sorry. <laughs> so the first Sunday of Advent, and I was thinking again this week, I just, I'm going to read a Psalm, Psalm 29. But it's the last verse, Psalm 29, verse 11, that I want you to take with you this week. But I'm reading this psalm because, again, I was thinking about peace. And, you know, at this time of year, it's so difficult to find peace out in the world, out wherever we are, in our homes sometimes, in our families, in our workplace, um, in our, with our neighbours. All different things happen. And somehow it gets worse at Christmas, doesn't it? People sometimes get more upset and more disturbed and troubled and vulnerable because it's that Christmas season when people think back and they remember stuff and they look forward to a year and they're not sure what's coming the next year. And it can be very difficult. So anyway, I just want you to hear what the Lord is like in case... You've forgotten, which you haven't, of course, none of you have, how wonderful he is and what he can do. Ascribe to the Lord, you heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. And this is all poetic language, but it's talking about how wonderful, majestic and mighty God is. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf, sitting like the young wild ox. The voice of the Lord strikes with flashes of lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the desert. The voice, the Lord shakes the desert of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord twists the oaks and strips the forest bare. And in his tent.